What's up guys? Welcome back to DCS World. Welcome back aboard the Hornet for a quick tutorial video. In this one we're going to just take a quick look at the radio system of the Hornet. Uh, if we look up front here, right on our UFC, we have our two radios. Right here is COM1, this sort of vertical stack here, and right here is COM2, this vertical stack here. You got volume controls for each one, and you have a channel selector for each one. So if I click on the channel selector, the currently selected channel pops up, as well as its current frequency and some other information here. And we can see that it's channel 2. You can have up to 20 channels, plus you've got some special channels that are built in. You've got the guard frequency of 243.0. You have a manual channel frequency. You have a C frequency, which um, isn't really used for anything. I believe it's uh, for encryption. And you have a ship frequency, which isn't in use just yet, denoted by S. For the most part, you will stick to the channel numbers, as well as possibly the guard channel and the M channel for manual. Now, these channels are set in the mission editor, so these channels might be different for you depending on what sort of mission you're flying. Uh, they may or may not be relevant to whatever you're doing, so you might need to configure these channels on the fly, and you can edit these channels. So, for example, I'm looking at channel 1 here on the COM1 radio. If I wanted to change the channel, let's say I wanted to change it to 249.0, and just need to make sure that it's selected here and then very simply from the UFC 249000 zero, zero, zero. 249 decimal 0 enter channel 1 for com 1 radio is now 249.0 and you can do that for all of your channels you can also set the manual channel as i mentioned before if you don't want to overwrite any of your existing channels and you just need a special frequency. Now how do we actually use the radios? Well, uh, just as with pretty much any DCS module, you'll tune the radio and then you'll need to bring up your communications menu to actually contact something. So uh, let's look at our F-10 map here. I'm currently on the ground at Abu Dhabi International Airport on the Persian Gulf map. So let's talk to Abu Dhabi's tower. So its tower is on a few different frequencies. We've got 119.2, 4.0, 38.9, and 250.5. The Hornet's radios can transmit over the pretty much the entire frequency range of VHF, UHF, AM, and FM. And again, both radios are identical, so both radios can tune pretty much all of the frequencies. So very, very handy. Uh, let's use let's use 119.2 as an example. So I'm going to go to COM1 here. Let's, uh, let's go to the manual channel for this. And I'm going to go to 119.200. Enter. So now I am tuned to the frequency of 119.2 as denoted by my UFC here and COM1. Now to actually talk to Abu Dhabi's uh, control tower, we need to bring up our communications menu and select COM1. Now if you have auto communications on, it's a little funky, but uh, this should show as an example here. So we're going to go communications menu, ATC. We see here that Abu Dhabi International Airport at 119.2 megahertz alpha mic. And uh, I'm already started up, but I can request startup. Start and it should respond here in a second. There it is. As another one, since I'm already started up, I can request taxi. Request taxi to runway. And it should respond. Okay. And. Just for the fun of it, we could request a takeoff, even though we're nowhere near the runway. Six, one, one. Request takeoff. 
Uh, maybe it won't since I'm not near the runway. Let's abort takeoff. Okay, so that's how we would communicate via the radios. One other function of the radios is its ability to tune non-directional beacons for automatic direction finder navigation or ADF. Uh, so for example, if we had an ADF frequency that we could set, uh, let's use COM2 as the example here. I believe there is an ADF frequency on channel 1. Uh, possibly not. Let's look one up. Let's go to the F10 map here. Let's look for an ADF. Oh, no, it is beeping. I'm not sure which one that is, though. But uh, you hear that beeping? That is because via COM2 we've actually tuned a non-directional beacon, so a radio navigational aid on 114.25. If I were to use this switch here to switch this to ADF-2, we could then use ADF navigation via our HSI. Um, you won't really ever use this unless your GPS slash INS system goes uh, on the fritz, but it is there if you need it. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to use ADF because, quite frankly, it is probably one of the most outdated uh, nav aids out there. But... Uh, it does come in handy in a pinch. Anyway, guys, that's just a quick look at how to use the radios in the Hornet. Uh, pretty simple and pretty easy, and the Hornet's uh, radios are very, very useful indeed. So uh, get out there, give them a try, and I'll see you for the next videos. Take care.